Welcome to Brew Build, your place for DIY home improvements. I'm Paul. Today I'll be building my own custom rain gutter. Now, I know that doesn't make much sense, but continue watching and you'll find out why. Are you ready? Let's go! We have a grape arbor that attaches to the house and there's no room for a traditional rain gutter. So I'm gonna take some 48 inch by 12 inch 18 gauge galvanized sheet metal and make my own custom rain gutter. Now, I could take this to a fab shop and get nice perfect bends, but I'm gonna to attempt to bend it myself. Here's a list of tools and items needed. 18 gauge galvanized sheet metal, three inch square tubing, two inch angle iron, a quarter inch steel plate, small sledgehammer, a jigsaw, a rotary tool, a screw gun driver, a tapered drill bit, self-drilling screws, weather sealant, a bench vise, a clamping workbench, gloves, and your personal safety gear. So the first thing we're going to need to do is bend the sheet metal into C-channel. So I'm going to clamp the sheet metal between some 2-inch angle iron and some 3-inch square tubing. Then I'll bend the sheet metal over the angle iron and that will give me my 2 inch size with a width of 8 inches because it's 2 plus 8 plus 2 which is 12. Yeah. On the brew scale, technical ability I rate as a novice. You'll need to know the basics of cutting and drilling metal. Physical ability I rate as easy. Other than bending the sheet metal by hand, this is an easy project. Now I don't have a brake which is a tool that you use to bend sheet metal so I'm going to have to improvise. So I have this portable workbench that has a table that clamps. So I'm going to clamp the sheet metal in between the tubing and the angle iron. You know, one thing that would have been nice is if the square tubing was four feet long, I could have clamped it just once. Well, since it's shorter than the sheet metal, I'll have to move the sheet metal back and forth a few times, aligning up the edges. I line up the one edge right here with the uh, pipe. And once it's clamped in and tight, you just start bending it. Just a little safety note, sheet metal can be very sharp, so be sure to wear some gloves when you're handling it. You can't go too far on one of the ends without bending the other end, so you can just kind of go back and forth. bends on the ends came out fairly nice. To tighten up the bends in the middle, use a small sledgehammer and some thick steel. Just make sure that steel has a smooth side and there's no sharp edges or it will mark up your sheet metal. If you want that hammered look, then just grab your hammer and hammer away. Don't forget safety protection. Hey, before I start banging, why don't you hit the like button, share this with your friends, and subscribe to Brew Builds. Alright, we have a nice 90 degree bend here on this side, so I'm going to repeat the bending process on the other side. So I'll go ahead and put it back into the clamp here. And Oh, make sure that you have it the right direction. We're making a C channel, not a Z channel. 
So I'll line up the edge and start bending. <laughs> Alright, since I'll be making four of these to achieve the 15 feet 8 inches I need for this rain gutter, I will vary the heights of the sides just slightly so the pieces will fit into each other making the entire rain gutter. I found this old piece of galvanized sheet metal that I'll be using for the end caps for the rain gutter. So I need to cut two 10 inch by 3 inch rectangles out of it. And to cut it, I'll be using this old Rockwell jigsaw. Now I've been using this since high school. There's something to be said about the quality of older tools. Well I was curious about it, so I looked it up online and I actually found an advertisement for it. And it's made by Rockwell International. I'm pretty sure that's the same company that built the space shuttle. Kind of interesting. Well, let's get back to the ring gutter. After cutting the 10 by 3 inch rectangles, I'll then cut 1 inch squares out of the two corners. This will allow me to bend 1 inch tabs on the bottom and the sides. Alright, now I'll go clamp this into a table vise and then bend some 90 degree tabs. Let's go bend some metal on a vise. Let's go bend some metal, yeah! Looks good, now we'll do the sides. You want to make sure that the metal is nice and square in the vise before you start bending it. And there you go, there is one end cap. So I decided to use some self-tapping hex head screws. Let's see how these work. One reason why I'm using screws over welding, I really don't like welding galvanized steel. It just makes those horrible fumes, so I'm using screws. Now we'll do the sides. So I put the seat clamp this way to tighten up this corner in the bottom. That way when I put the side screw in, it should tighten up nicely. Looks like the screw is hitting the clamp, so let me just take the clamp off now. I picked up some of these plastic downspout pieces and I'll cut a hole in one end of the rain gutter. I've already drawn the hole and marked the four corners. Then I'll be using a center punch and a tapered drill bit to drill out the four corners and then I'll use a jigsaw to cut out the hole. When using sheet metal, it's always a good idea to use a center punch. That'll keep the drill from wandering when you start drilling.
When drilling sheet metal, I like using a tapered drill bit over a standard one. You end up with a much cleaner hole and it won't grab like a traditional drill bit does and sometimes it gun give rip right out of your hand. So it's safer and you end up with a much cleaner hole. Time for the jigsaw that cuts circles around the rest, especially in fast motion. Time to smooth out the edges and adjust the fit. So just sit back in your chair. <laughs> All right, let's get these four pieces put together with some silicone and some screws. Alright, let's just get this up on top of the grape arbor here. And now I'll tuck it in right up under the roofing material. Like so. Looking good. Alright, once that's there, then I'll go down to the other end and start attaching the downspout. Alright, so I'm gonna try to get a screw into a stud, so I'm marking 48 inches here. Grab a masonry bit, quarter inch. Just in case I don't hit the stud, I could put in a plastic anchor. All right, I think I hit a stud, which is good. So now I'll put in a screwdriver bit and grab a screw. I'll put in the cross piece here and get it stuck up in the downspout I put into the rain gutter. Snap it in. I have this extra long to keep water out of the backyard while we're remodeling. Once that's done, I'll shorten it up, make it look nice, and add a water barrel. So yeah, you can tell this is working pretty good. It's raining really getting, getting very wet. It comes down here, it's not overflowing. This is working pretty good. I like it. I'm going to get back inside before I get really wet. Thanks for watching. Remember to like this video and subscribe to Brew Builds. And if you want to learn how to move a hose dip, watch this video here.